Please welcome the stage, Martin Angola! Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. What an absolute pleasure it is to uh, be here to make it look like Damo has a black friend. I know why I'm here. Uh, do you have those? Black friends, do you have those? Uh, looking around the room, I'm guessing not. Is this a gig or a rally? I can't... Uh... <laughs> That's how I start. Um, <laughs> so, no. Uh, a lot of people do ask me about, you know, the state of racism in Ireland nowadays. You go, Martin, what's your opinion on the state of racism in Ireland nowadays? And I have to say, I've seen it evolve, you know? Like, racism in Ireland now has gotten very inclusive. Yeah. I'll give an example. Uh, the last time I did a gig in Limerick, uh, someone told me to fuck off back home to Dublin. It's very... <laughs> <laughs> You're one of us, and we still hate you. It's a nice... It's a nice message. I drink too much, you know? I think you know you have a drinking problem. I'm at that point now where if I see a beautiful, pale woman in a black dress, all I think is, uh, I'd love a Guinness. Oh, oh, I'd love a Guinness. Yes. <laughs> Interesting reaction. So, um, <laughs> no. Well, things are coming back now. It's great to see people out again and all that, and that people are traveling again. Like, I, I travel a lot doing this job, you know. I fly a lot with Ryanair. Uh, yeah, I'm a success. And um, <laughs> a lot of comedians give out about Ryanair. I never do. Yeah? Because I think you get what you pay for with the cheaper airlines. Right? If I'm paying a tenner to fly to England, I don't even expect to be in the plane. <laughs> yeah? The fact that I'm in a seat is fantastic. And I, I, obviously when we clap when the plane lands, I clap before we take off. It only costs me a tenner. <laughs> yeah? People, oh, people complain about the staff and the servicing. The way they treat their staff in the cheap airlines. I could ask for a bottle of water. Yeah? The air steward could tell me to piss off and spit on me. I go, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Only paid a tenner, you know. In some circles, getting a woman in uniform to spend you for a tenner is good value. It's, it's a win. But, um, so. Like, I never really understood the whole sexy woman in uniform look, you know. Like, I don't, I've, I've never been, I've never found, you know when women dress up as, like, nurses at Halloween? Like, I've never found nurses sexy. That's my thing, right? Like, I've never been horny in a hospital, that's all I'm saying. Right? Am I the weirdo here? I'm just saying, I've never found them. Especially nowadays, like after a pandemic, like the idea of a dirty nurse is just someone who gives you COVID. It's not, it's not the sexiest thing, is it? I just really work for with a nurse, you know, she gives you the, the vaccine, you know, she goes, you're gonna feel a small prick. Hey, play your cards right, so could you. Doesn't really. <laughs> Gotta wait around for 15 minutes anyway, you know. <laughs> so. You won't feel a thing. Now, the point is, so, yeah. People are back out again dating and everything, you know? I, I, I appreciate fair play to people dating, you know? It's very difficult to meet people nowadays. There's only really two options for people who want to be dating, and it's either you do online dating or uh, you go on Love Island. There are two options, isn't it? <laughs> like, I'd love to go on Love Island, but uh, my problem is, I think the show would be a lot better if it was a bit more like the first week of The X Factor, when they have all the crazy people on. Yeah? I'd love to be the mental person on Love Island. So like everyone's in the jacuzzi on the island, right? And I'm standing just outside the jacuzzi in a big trench coat just looking in. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely tattoo, yeah. Oh, I can't get in, I have a Veruca, I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> it's my ambition. The whole series in a trench coat and a Veruca sock, that'd be me. But, um... So yeah, people are back, and people are very open about what they like in relationships now, you know? Like, I'm not a big fan of online dating either. Like, online dating, like, men, men are too confident online for my liking. Like, men send dick pics constantly. I can never say, I'm old school, I send dick postcards. <laughs> Just a photo of mine would wish you were here. It's a nice, <laughs> nice touch. A lot of confidence, though, isn't it, to send a dick pic to a, to a stranger, you know? I could never do it. Uh, not that I'm not confident, very happy with what I'm working with, you know? It's never let me down. It's that other people down, that's how I look at it. <laughs> you know, I like an early night. But the point <laughs> I'm getting at is people are very open about what they like in relationships, you know? Like I was with a woman recently and uh, she was telling me, she, she wanted me to talk dirty to her, you know? And I was like, I don't really know what to say. And she said, just say the nastiest thing you can think of. And I said, I think you might be an alcoholic. <laughs> 
ruined the moment a little bit. You know? <laughs> and then I was with another woman, and uh, she told me she'd like to be choked during sex. Yeah, not my kind of thing, you know? Like, I don't even like strangling women outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, I'm not, not much of a strangler, you know. But in the moment, she asked, and I thought, okay, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> Give it a go, you know. Uh, it turns out I was pretty good, she's having a great time. Uh, turns out I was too good, she died, but... Um, yeah, they asked me to say a few, a bit awkward, they asked me to say a few words at the funeral. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful ceremony. She was laid her out there, open casket. Uh, dressed her up lovely in a black dress. Uh, and all I could think was, I'd love a Guinness. <laughs> I'll be Martin Angolo. Thank you very much. Cheers.